We're going to be looking at this property of uh, saccharides and disaccharides, which we call reducing sugars. And uh, it's due to a, uh, a structural feature within the saccharide itself, which allows the title to be uh, used reducing or non-reducing sugar. And I've got uh, several sugars here that I took off the shelf of the, the chem department. Here's glucose. Okay, I'm gonna, now these are very water soluble, so they make great solutions. Okay, there's glucose. Fructose. Come on, let's go. There we go. Fructose. Lactose, you're familiar with lactose because uh, you've heard of lactose-free milk and such things. Okay. It goes in there. This isn't quite as water soluble as we'll see. And then I'm going to make two samples of sucrose. Now, sucrose is not like the others. Sounds like Sesame Street. Okay, sucrose does not react like the others, as we will see. But in any event, here we go. Okay, so we've got these five here, and I'm going to uh, make solutions of them in deionized water. These. Dissolve very readily. And then uh, here's fructose. Now, fructose is not like uh, these others in that it is a ketohexose. In other words, it has a ketone rather than an aldehyde. And then uh, lactose. Not quite as, as I said, soluble. Okay, and then our two solutions of sucrose. Now I'm going to use a, a solution here of what we call Benedict's. Uh, this has been around for a long, long time, and what it does, it's a very strongly basic a solution of copper nitrate in sodium carbonate, and the copper nitrate is going to be in a plus two oxidation state, as you can see, because the color of copper two plus ion is, uh, is blue, okay? So I'm going to take each one of these, and I'm going to uh, add some... Add some uh, copper nitrate. Let's get fructose. And put it in the hot water bath. And let's get lactose. Okay, there's lactose. And then I'm going to do this. Now I'm going to do this with sucrose. It's going to be very obvious what the uh, reaction will indicate. Now you can see that uh, glucose is starting even now to show a kind of a uh, an orangey precipitate, which is characteristic of a copper one oxidation state. In fact, fructose is the champion of these. It goes very very fast, and it's starting to turn this uh, this color Let's see where's lactose uh, lactose is slow sucrose nothing seems to be happening let's just uh, let them go for a minute okay now to the to the um, sucrose in this test tube I'm going to put a couple drops of concentrated sulfuric acid Make sure you wear your gloves when you 
handle this. Put that in there. Tap that up again. Move that down a little bit. Okay. So there we go. Notice, by the way, the uh, fructose is almost uh, completely orangey red. That's the copper one oxide precipitate that's formed. So we say that copper two ion has been reduced to copper one ion, and this uh, change is very evident from the blue to orange color. And this indicates that uh, that fructose has reduced copper two to copper ones. Therefore, we call fructose a reducing sugar. Okay, you can see here, uh, glucose is uh, almost the same. Okay, and it looks as though lactose is trying to catch up, and uh, it will it will indeed. Uh, catch up. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to heat up the sucrose that does not have any Benedict's in it. You can see the sucrose from the, from the uh, treatment with Benedict's is not changing color at all. Okay. And here we have sucrose. Let's, let's uh, let that go for a minute. And then I'll put the uh, the, the sucrose uh, with the with the Benedict solution and see how that works. Okay. Well, see the lactose is starting now to very clearly indicate that it's reducing the copper two plus blue ion to the copper one oxide, which is uh, a reduction. Okay. And still the sucrose resists change. So let's see what will happen if I add some some Benedict's to this. Well, you can see the you can see what happens. Uh, the the acid that I put in there is going to make the carbonate fizz a little bit. We'll see what happens. Now, glucose and fructose monosaccharides actually make up the, the um, sucrose molecule. And so sucrose is a, a disaccharide which is composed of glucose and fructose. And we've shown that glucose here and fructose, where, where are you fructose? Fructose itself do indeed uh, change and become uh, change the copper two I into copper one, and let's let's give this a little little time for it to uh, to convert. Uh, the pretreatment with uh, hyd with sulfuric acid actually uh, had something to do with the color change that we're seeing right now. Here's the sucrose solution with just the Benedict's in it, and here's the sucrose solution which was pre-treated with sulfuric acid, so that it's starting now to change color and looking more like the uh, three that we have here in this, this hot water bath. So I think if we just allowed this to stay in the heat a little bit longer, we would probably see a an orange, but since we don't have that color yet, let's just wait. You can see after some heating that the color is starting to resemble uh, the colors that we saw with lactose and glucose and fructose here. And this is the sucrose solution with Benedict's without that pretreatment with sulfuric acid. So what the sulfuric acid did apparently was to expose an aldehyde group which uh, 
this uh, basic solution did not. Okay. Okay. So I think that demonstrates that uh, that sucrose is potentially a uh, reducing sugar, but you have to pre-treat it with sulfuric acid in order to convert it as such. And uh, you can see what happens when you don't. There it is.